Trend Settings. We open the trend chart of the outside air temperature and are focusing only on two things now, the resolution display and the chart's time range of one week. This is because the graph has a rather smaller resolution with fewer samples and the time period of the display is one week. We return to the tile overview and select settings via the vertical ellipsis. The trend settings dialog box opens and allows us to define the settings, which are applied to all online trend log objects, all offline trend log objects, and trend view definitions. Note. In case of trend view definitions, these settings are applied only during the creation of new trend view definitions. The setting of the data accuracy influences the display resolution of the charts. Loading fast means a smaller resolution display with fewer samples and therefore a faster loading speed when retrieving the trend. On the other hand, high resolution means a more accurate display with more samples, which results in the chart taking a little longer to display. The slider allows us to choose, besides the two ends, two settings in between. To show this effect, we choose the maximum resolution and close the dialog box. We again select the online outside air temperature trend and can observe that this chart now contains much more data values of the recording and is therefore more accurate. The time span when opening the chart is still one week. We will adjust this now. We return to the settings and find the reason of the one week period in the default settings. This setting allows us to specify the time range for which the trend data is displayed in the trend view. The possible value settings in the drop down menu or from periods in minutes to years are to always select all values. Caution The longer the period is selected, the longer it takes to load the data from the database. If all is selected, all data would be loaded for all trend object types. This can lead to very long waiting times, depending on the selected data accuracy and the amount of collected data samples in the trend database of Dezigo CC. We recommend choosing a small time period for the general setting, which influences almost all trends. The time range can be adjusted very easily for the chart individually in the trend view. We change the period to one day. Before we close the dialog box and return to the online trend, we would like to point out that the data status indication feature is explained in the subchapter quality attributes. The chart display has been updated to the last current day, as we wanted. The trend view offers predefined time ranges where you can easily and very quickly customize the range for this chart. The options are hour, day, week, month, year, or all. These predefined ranges are temporary and do not influence the basic settings we showed earlier. In the edit mode we have additional options. The default time period in the options tab takes over the values of the basic settings as default, namely one day as we had just previously specified. We can now change this default setting specifically for this trend object let's say to three weeks and witness how the graphic immediately adopts the new setting. If we exit the edit mode now, the change made is temporary. If it is desired to save this time period for this trend chart, we can define a trend name and by saving it we create a new trend object in the system called trend view definition. We will learn more about what a trend view definition is later. The save as dialog box leads us directly to the trend view definitions folder where several subfolders have already been created. With the button add folder we create a new subfolder, outside air temp, and save the trend definition here. This leaves the original trend object unchanged. If we now reselect the original object, we see that the time period has returned to the default setting of one day. When selecting the new trend view definition, we have the requested time period of three weeks. Now, we would like to explain the workspace in view mode. 